Hi everyone, this is Kona, and I thought I would talk through um, at least a good chunk of example 11.2, just because I can see where it could get confusing for some of you. So to start out with, um, you want to go ahead, find your uh, null hypothesis, your alternative hypothesis. Um, so null, new design does not lower scores, new design does lower scores, that's your claim. Um, which obviously it's a good thing, you want lower scores. Then you take the old scores, write them down in this list, then your new scores, then you look for your difference. Now your difference is literally just subtract. So 89 minus 83 is 6, 84 minus 83 is 1, 96, 92, 4, you get the picture. After you do that, you then find the absolute value of everything. So absolute value, just basically dump your negative signs. Everything becomes positive. Um, there's obviously more to that. But different class. We're not going to go into that right now. Hopefully you got that somewhere else. Okay, now for finding the rank, this is really confusing when you look at it this way. So I'll be completely honest. I actually put it in an Excel spreadsheet. I mean, you could just do this on paper. So here are all of the numbers. So you can see, there you go, all the numbers. You'll notice you dump zero. So you get rid of it. If there's a zero difference, you just dump it, get rid of it, don't worry about it. So there's all of the numbers. And what you want to do, and this just makes your life easier, and you don't have to do this in Excel. I just did it because it was easier for me. You can do this on paper. It is just basically order it from, uh, oh, there you go, from smallest to largest. All right, once you have it from smallest to largest, then you're going to actually go ahead and ah, come back here. Sorry. You're then going to go ahead. R. Sorry. This is what happens when you've got like too many screens open. There we go. Oh, come on. And now it's not happy about that. All right, hold on. Let me pause and see if I can fix it. Yay, okay. I'm back and better than ever. Um, so I took the absolute values. Uh, you rank them order from least to greatest. Now the thing that you're looking for is the duplicates. So see how you have, I have two twos and two fours. This is where you can't just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is where when you go through your order, so you start with your lowest value and that rank is one. Then you get to these two and technically they should be two and three, but because they're the same, you actually take the average. So you take two plus three, divide it by two because that's how many you have and you get 2.5, 2.5 for both of these. All right. Then you get to um, three and you would think, oh, well, if it's one, two, three, no, it's not actually three because if you're thinking about it, you're actually using two and three, both for these two numbers. So this one is actually four. Uh, this is actually another reason I like using the Excel spreadsheet because it's got the numbers going here. So if you ever get confused, you can always just look and if it's a single value, it should have this value. See how this is four and four, four and four right there. All right, so now we went to the fours. So we're at four, and technically this should be five and six, but because you've got two values, you would add five plus six, divided by two, you get 5.5 for both of these values. All right, so then you get to five and you think, oh, well, is that six? Nope, it's actually seven, um, because you're, oh, it's actually seven, because you remember, one, two, three, because this is, takes up two of them, four. This is five and six right here. Then that's seven. Um, then this is eight. And this is nine. Um, so that's another reason I like Excel, because when you get to the end, your numbers should match. So nine and nine should be there. Um, well, as long as it's a single value. Obviously, if it's not a single value, if it's a double value or a triple value, that'd be a little bit different. Um, if it's a triple value, so like if you had four fours, what you would do is add up five, six, and seven, and then divide by um, your three. So I hope that helps there. And you can see, um, I then took that value and then I placed it in here. So six is eight, eight is nine. Um, then your signed rank, the only difference for your signed rank is that you come back and you look at which ones had negatives. So in, in this case, um, the 74, 76, this was negative. So you add your negative back in there. And your uh, 82 and 85, this one was negative. So you add your negative back in there. So that way, when you get down here, um, so this is one tailed. Um, it's because one data pair has a difference of zero. Um, your number is actually nine instead of 10. 
So basically what that means is that because you've got that zero right there, you kind of like just X out of that one. You basically just ignore that entire row right there. Uh, so that's why you have nine instead of 10. You would look up your critical value um, on page, uh, not page nine, but table nine. Um, and that would give you an eight using your degrees of freedom and your N of nine. All right, so now what you do, you add your negative ranks. So you literally go up and say, which of your signed ranks are negative? In this case, it's only negative 2.5 and negative four. So you add those together and then you'd get the absolute value of that. You then add your positive ranks, which is basically all of the rest of your ranks. So get this one, you would take the absolute value, but it's already positive, so it doesn't matter. Then your test statistic is the smaller absolute value of the two sums. So since 6.5, the absolute value there is smaller than your 38.5, your test statistic is your 6.5. Then you come down here and because 6.5 is less than eight, which was what your critical value was up there, you can go ahead and reject your null hypothesis. Um, if it was greater, then you would obviously uh, fail to reject your null hypothesis. And there is enough evidence to support the claim that golfers can lower their scores by using the newly designed clubs. So I hope this helps. And if you have any additional questions, let me know.